Hello. This looks different. We're in the car, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go out today. We're going to run to our local grocery store and we're going to get some stuff to make something we've never made. More like she's going to make it. I'm just going to kind of watch. And um, we're going to make it together. Sure. That's what she thinks. <laughs> and we've never tried. No, never. We keep hearing about it and it is time. It's time for a chip, chip buddy. buddy. So we're going to go get some stuff to make one today, or maybe two, possibly three, maybe even four. <laughs> Wait for it. You'll see. We're going to try it all different ways. We are. So we're going to do that. Um, while we're on our way to the grocery, we'd really appreciate it if you'd hit that like button. You knew it was coming, even in the car. <laughs> and consider subscribing to the channel. It's absolutely free. So we'll see you at the grocery. Natasha. Debbie. Show. The show. <laughs> Welcome to it. <laughs> Just two patriotic girls. Learning about the world. So please, don't take us the wrong way. Contrary to popular belief, <laughs> we do in fact have roundabouts in America. It's no, uh, magic roundabout by me, but nonetheless, it's still a roundabout. We're here. It's windy, but we're here. Um, we're at Kroger, which is our favorite grocery to go to as far as large chains. We like to get a lot of smaller ones too, but um, Kroger is actually the fourth largest grocer in the world. So, and it's our biggest one here in Cincinnati, Ohio. So we're gonna go inside and what? Let's get our stuff, what make we our chip buddy. We need some potatoes. We, well, that, that would help. So we're gonna go in and get some stuff and get this going. So here we are inside Kroger. So let's get our potatoes. Well, maybe we want other things too. Well, if we need <laughs> other things, we can grab those along the way. They are doing some remodeling in here so it doesn't quite look like it normally does, but uh, they're always doing something in these stores. They are always updating and redoing, making yeah. things more accessible. It's that entire wall right there being empty. Potatoes first. I wonder how many potatoes we'll need, but I'm thinking- think We'll need 10 pounds, Debbie. 10 pounds, I think it's a little <laughs> bit too much. Idaho potatoes, they're my favorite. Here we go. Yeah. Nice five pound bag of Idaho russet potatoes. Is that enough? I think it's more than enough. All right. One thing down, a couple more to go. Okay, I'm not really supposed to be doing this right now, but I thought I would, just because I can. Until I get yelled at. Um, I don't know, think your guys' grocery stores have alcohol. There's a wine section here. And then there's a whole beer section as well. But we also have a liquor store, which is all your hard, like, whiskeys and tequilas and Etc. cetera's, et cetera's. So just wanted to quickly show you that for a second. I don't want to go in there and get yelled at, so I'm not going to do that, but. Now I'm gonna go not get yelled at somewhere else. <laughs> okay, so. We need to go to the inter little international baby international section we have. Yes, we do. <laughs> Which is here in our local store. It's not much. It's just one little section of an aisle. And that's it. Now, thankfully, we at least found what we we're looking for. So it's not a whole lot of stuff. And not in the remodel, a ton, but a nice I got little some, bit of some stuff. things. You'll recognize a few things here. But this is pretty cool to have some of these things here at our local grocery store. You gotta have digest this especially the chocolate. I've become a fan of the dark chocolate ones. And look at the little baby Marmite. Yes, they even have baby. <laughs> they have a big one, don't they? They're just out? Uh, must be. I think so. I might be wrong too. So this is just some of the little things. There's Coleman's mustard, which we still have not tried because we're terrified. But what we come here for? We came here for HP sauce. Amen. So we're gonna put that in the cart. Grab it and bag it. HP sauce it is. All right, well, I think we're pretty much done, right? 
I think so. All right. Let's get home and get cooking. Let's go get cooking. Today's video is sponsored by Incogni. Spam. We get home from the grocery, empty our bags, somehow someone stuck this in there. How does that happen? Just like those spam emails, the spam phone calls, where do they come from? It's simple, sadly. Everything we do on the internet is turned into data. Our addresses, our phone numbers, our birth date, who we live with, even our incomes. Nothing is off limits. And all of this personal info, our personal data, is gathered up by data brokers. They are responsible for sharing and distributing your personal info and your personal details are at risk. This is where today's video sponsor comes in, Incogni. It would take forever for each of us to go and try to clean up all of our personal private details off the internet. Incogni comes in like a superhero and does it for you. Incogni is easy to use. Just sign up, give them permission to do all the hard work, and they will smack down the data brokers to have your personal information removed from the internet. It's time to ditch the span. Time to get rid of it. Just toss it. Take back control of your personal data with Incogni. Use code Natasha Debbie at the link below and save 60% off your annual plan. We're not gonna just make one chip, buddy. We're gonna try four versions. Yeah, that's right, we're crazy. So we're gonna try four different versions. So hear me out. We're gonna do one with ketchup, because we know a lot of people do, but we've been told anyway. And we're gonna do one with, of course, as you saw, HP sauce, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna do all of them with vinegar on them, all the, all the uh, chips, but one with just straight salt and vinegar. And then, <laughs> don't get mad at me, I'm gonna do the Natasha one, the one I think that might be maybe the one I might like the best, we'll see, I don't know. And that's just gonna be with mayo, because I like to dip my chips in mayonnaise anyway. so. That's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna try four different versions. We better get cooking. Somebody said I was making too much of a mess and I was too slow. Who said that? Gee, I don't know. I don't know who said that. <laughs> it's a fun part of the job. So yeah, Cooking with Debbie is actually a Patreon cooking tier that we have. So Debbie is purely in her element. Those of you on Patreon have seen this many times. Right, hon? That is true. So how are we cooking these potatoes? We're actually going to use our deep fryer and fry our chips. That's right. We have a deep fryer. It's not a very big one now, so... It's not huge, but we'll probably have to do at least two batches. But I um, always hear that the best way to eat them is fried, so we are going to do exactly that. Awesome. No cutting corners here. Okay, so but it's probably time to cut the potatoes, isn't it? It is time to cut the potatoes. We're gonna take these sliced potatoes and put them into some water just to help rinse off a little bit of the starch. What's that? What is that? It just helps Soup. to keep them from turning while you're cutting up the rest of your potatoes. Like turning brown? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really? Yep. I didn't know you could do that. That's just water? Just plain water. And then we'll rinse them off and before we fry them and pat them dry. You want some help? Um, yeah, I think we're almost ready to at least start frying the first batch. Well, why don't I put the camera down and I'll come help you cut. Okay. If you haven't noticed by now, we're going to try, we're trying to make this as genuine, authentic as possible. So we got our chips cut. This is only a portion of them. We have some more in the uh, sink there. Um, not in the sink, <laughs> in a strainer. 
um, waiting to come in. So we're gonna just put this amount in first because I don't think this deep fryer is gonna be big enough to do both. And we're gonna, we have four sandwiches to make. So <laughs> are we gonna have enough chips? That's the million dollar question. I don't know, Debbie, you think we can't put both of the- uh... I think we will. I think we can make it happen. I'll be right back. We are ready to eat these chip buds. We haven't had, had dinner. So this is our dinner. It better be good, UK. <laughs> How could it not be good? I'm looking forward to it. I love a good chip. How's the size? Let us know. Only <laughs> women are allowed to answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it'll be, some will say they should be thinner. Some should say they're perfect. Some will say thicker maybe. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, you might even say thicker. I don't know how much thicker they could get though. Yeah. And this will be kind of like an experiment really to find out how long to fry these in the oil. I'm trying to dry them off a little bit because they are fresh out of the water. They'll be fine, aren't they? Yep. Okay. Whoa, we got a runner. <laughs> All right, we'll come back in a second when they start to uh, get hot enough. Oh, wait for it. We're just gonna stay here and stare at it. <laughs> <laughs> Watch that pot boil. Watch that oil fry. I will. I will, in fact, do that. I'm so excited about it. Let us know in the comments, what's your favorite way to have a chip buddy? Do you prefer ketchup? Do you prefer HP sauce? Just salt and vinegar? Do you do mayonnaise? Is that popular? I don't know. You tell us. So we definitely have these frying now. Um, we were talking while we were waiting for it to start frying and um i said yeah i was read over an article and it said 200 degrees and natasha said was it a a british article and i said yes and she's like you sure you have the temperature correct and i was like oh my gosh it probably was celsius i didn't even think of that so that was on me had the wrong numbers but we are clearly frying now all right so we have our bread while we're waiting for those to finish up cooking because they're almost ready um, we're gonna go ahead and, this is the weird part for me and Debbie. <laughs> we're gonna butter our bread. Not a thing we do here in America. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm not looking forward to this part of it. I'm not a big butter person. So we got our Kerrygold butter. And we're gonna go ahead and butter some bread because y'all need to see that on camera. <sighs> you have no option. Obviously you've never done this before. <laughs> so we're gonna butter some bread. I should have let that sit out a little longer because it's a little bit, Harder to spread. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing now for the next like, what, three minutes? <laughs> Buttering bread. Our chips are done. So let's get these transferred over here on a paper towel. Get some that grease off. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> this is not my fault. This happens all the time as things old. The basket did its purpose. <laughs> all right. I think those look good. What do you think, honey? I think they look great. I cannot wait to eat those. To have our very first chip buddy. Chip buddy. I think I'm gonna like the HP sauce. I think I'm gonna like best. all of them. Now I'm gonna, I think I'm, if I like anything better than the, just the mayo version, I'll be surprised. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm just gonna get some of the extra grease off of here. It's really not a whole lot on there, really. No, it's really not. And then, of course, we're not Neanderthals. And this is my favorite condiment on planet Earth, salt. You guys can judge me if you want, but I like a lot of salt. All right, I think that's good. And, of course, we gotta have some malt vinegar. I'm afraid I'm gonna overdo this. Does that go on all of them? Yeah. Okay. I know Debbie's not a huge fan of, just a splash or two here and there. She's not a huge malt vinegar person. I'm not, but. I love it. I'm excited to try it. I'm open to trying new things. Here we go. All right, now let's start assembling. 
So we're gonna assemble the sandwiches, grab it some chips. We've buttered all the bread. Hopefully that lighting is okay. Um, so we're gonna to start off with putting the chips on. Not sure how many to put on here. <laughs> like I'm going a little crazy. The articles I've read said just stack it up high. Oh, wait, really? Yep. Higher than this one layer? Yep. Wait, what? Two layers? Yep. Really? Okay. Is that enough? Yep, that looks good. Does it? Yep. Okay. You sound like a professional back there. <laughs> do is going to be ketchup. If you know me, you know that I don't like ketchup. I'm not a fan of the ketchup. So this will be Debbie's. <laughs> I don't even know the last time we used this You're ketchup. You're going to try it. Here, I'm going to squirt it over here. I hate when it comes out all runny. Okay, here we go. I'm going to try them all. Doesn't mean I have to like it. <laughs> Get all in here. And yes, we know some people like a lot of ketchup and some people don't. So this one is But the... I think that's a nice even spread there. Boom. There is one. One's done. Oh no, I'm sad. I was gonna make mine with the mayonnaise without the butter. Oh. Uh, uh, butter and mayonnaise. Sorry guys, I can't do it. Switch out one piece of bread. Huh? Let's switch out one piece of bread if mm -hmm. you want. That's whatever. Okay, next one is gonna be HP sauce. I am just still a chip. <laughs> oh, it's this one right here. This I'm worried about. Uh, I'm not sure how this is gonna come out of here. It's been a while since we've had HP. Oh God. Hey, I remember having H HP sauce last year. <gasps> you said H. I did. She say started H. saying H. Did you guys hear that? You said H. I did. We are hilarious. And I liked it, so. Yeah, you liked it. Hey. I did too with the pork sausage roll that we bought. Uh-huh. That was good. We tried it with all kinds of things, with a bacon and a BLT. I don't know how that is. Like, should I, I keep going? Even... Am I overdoing it? I think that looks good. It's covered. I mean, you're gonna get HP sauce on every bite. That much I can promise Absolutely. you. Absolutely. All right. Boom. There's two. All right, half are done. The other half is easy. Oh gosh, just know this is gonna be the one that, this one's the one that gets extra vinegar. Just a little right. extra. Debbie's gonna hate this one. Never know, I could surprise you. You would really surprise me. I've been surprised by all kinds of things that I've eaten on this show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna deny. <laughs> That's the salt and vinegar one, just salt and vinegar. That's it. Okay. And butter, of course. I know you guys don't usually count that, but. We do. I will count that. This is, this is not right. <laughs> do you actually put mayonnaise on with your butter? Because if so, then I just don't understand. I'm sorry, I don't. This is gonna weird me out. Weird, 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 weird. They're probably going, no, we don't do that. And then I'm gonna be like, crap. Well, that's way too much. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to use so much mayonnaise that I don't taste the butter. That's an excessive amount of mayonnaise. And you know what? I have zero shame in that. I'm sure it's gonna be delicious. Mayonnaise and salt are my two favorite of all the uh, condiments. On, and that's a stupid amount of mayonnaise. Again, no shame in that. Did I put extra salt on this one earlier? Yeah, I think you did. <laughs> Mayo. Boom. Okay. Now, we're gonna run into our office where we tend to film our show. While these are still, they are very hot, so don't worry about that. We're gonna, and we're gonna go taste test all these. That's right. Let's get back in the studio. Let's go. Okay, so Debbie went ahead and actually like cut the sandwiches for us mm -hmm. so we can have this a little bit easier. I feel like I could have put more chips on here. I'm just gonna grab the ketchup. You can <laughs> grab the other one if you want to. Fine, I'll grab the vinegar. Really? Yeah. You're gonna ditch me like that? I can't, this is hard to grab off here. We don't have to be the same. <laughs> Well, it would make more sense to be the same. She has a plate. Ah. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose I this. I do have a plate. Switch into ketchup. Oh, what's that now? What happened? Switch into the ketchup. Why? You don't have to. 
because it would make more sense if we tried them at the same time. I may have put a lot of ketchup on this. I'm trying not to show you my ketchupy finger. Now you see it. I pointed it out. All mm. right. I'm scared a little I'm bit. I'm not scared. I'm a little scared. I'm ready. All right. Scared I'm going to love it. <laughs> mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hot. Mm. Hot. Mm -hmm. mm. This is weird. Do you like ketchup? No. On but this? Kinda. <laughs> I kinda do. That's really good. I kinda don't. I don't know. I don't like ketchup. I like ketchup, so this is right up my alley. Very good. Oh. I don't know what to think about that. Definitely need a drink. We should rate these. Mmm. One to ten. Okay. Seven. Being the first one and I loved it. You ignored that, didn't you? A seven. That's really amazing for ketchup. I hate ketchup with a passion. Usually ketchup would be one. Ketchup would not even go in my mouth. That's <laughs> true. Know. A seven. That's actually good. Okay, I can see this. I'm Thank you for doing the ketchup one first. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to. I do have a plate over here. I'm not just like throwing it in the floor. <laughs> Well, being my first one, and I loved it, going straight out 10. I don't know if there's going to be anything that's not a 10, to be honest with that's you. That's going to be a 12, my mayonnaise. No, we got to go vinegar, because that's okay. what's on my plate. We got to get to the vinegar one. <laughs> you reach it? Not really, without. So we're going to do just the salt and vinegar one. I know I like this one. I don't think she's going to like it. We'll see. I've been surprised before. <laughs> It's so hot. Mm-hmm. Mm. Nine. I really don't mind the vinegar on there, and I typically don't like vinegar. It's like you, you with the ketchup. You it's like to... you with the ketchup. Do you want me to put more on there? No, I, I think I'm good here. I put like five or six more big <laughs> splashes on this when we came in the room, because I'm like, I don't think that's enough. I can taste it. It's just, it's, mm. it's, it's actually surprisingly good for me anyway. Mm. Since I don't like vinegar. I'm gonna go full. What do you rate this one? Or did you? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go a six. Mm -mm. It's good. I like the ketchup one better. So far, but who knows? HP. Going in for HP, all right. I'll hand you. Oh, this is the bigger piece I was gonna. So I put a lot of HP sauce on, and it's kind of leaking through. Got it? I like HP. It's so hot, it got stuck to the <laughs> cutting board. <laughs> well, that's a lot of HP sauce. Sorry, I don't want to get this too close because I'm dropping things. I could have put this thicker. The way she cut it too, she cut it with the with the chips. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We don't we don't know what we're doing. I just know that I'm eating this and I'm happy. One, two, three, go. Wow, that was quick. <laughs> Okay, this is really weird. What is wrong with me? <laughs> what do people do to me? They're just turning British. That's a freaking 10. 10, huh? Oh my gosh. I agree, it is a 10. <laughs> I was just surprised she re rated it as a 10. I think I like this better than the ketchup. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. -hmm. mm. Mm-hmm. Now we're finding out what all the rave is about. Why you guys have been talking about this for so long. Very, very good. We still have one more to go though. I need a drink. Which one do you go back to? HP, huh? That is surprising me that you're into the HP as much. <laughs> I saw that. You just finished it. <laughs> Don't be ashamed. Mm-hmm. 
don't be ashamed. It's all the rage. <laughs> I know that was corny as heck. I think this is going to be boring now. Does anyone do the mayonnaise? Nah, the heck with it. Let's just go. I'm really <laughs> full right now, actually. God. I bet you are. There's a lot. You ate that I'm whole staring HP at your one. other piece of your mm -hmm. HP when I'm going to. Stay off my HP. I'm still in it. Mm, no, it's good. It's good. <laughs> but it's only a six. <laughs> it's only a six. No, that's a seven. No, seven and a half. It's definitely better than the ketchup. I don't like ketchup. You say it's better than ketchup? Yeah, it's mayonnaise, dude. I called I you know. dude. I called you dude. I don't know, one more bite, let's find out. Mm-hmm. Sorry. It's good. Mm-hmm. It's too much right now, though. There's a lot of mayonnaise I put on there. It's very creamy. It is creamy. And wow. It's a lot. A lot of, I don't eat bread. I don't eat a lot of bread like this, so. Hmm. What's a crap ton of bread? I'm gonna give the one with mayonnaise a five. Whatever. It was probably my least favorite. It, it was my least favorite. I actually like the vinegar more than I like the mayonnaise one. What did I give the vinegar? I have no knowledge of in my memory banks. I don't remember. <laughs> It was three minutes ago. I don't know. It's a lot of food. It is a lot of food. You can eat it because I'll just make another one. I think what I have learned from this is it doesn't matter how you eat your chip buddy. Mm. As long as you're eating it, that's what matters because they're all good. Mm. I mean, if somebody offered me a, any one of these. Definitely not turning it down because I'm now a fan of the chip buddy. What about the mayonnaise one that you didn't like? I still wouldn't turn it down. Which one did you say you liked the least? The mayonnaise? Mayonnaise was the least. Hurtful. These were better than I thought. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I did not think I'd like this. I thought it was like, eh, that sounds weird. I'm not going to enjoy this. These are good. I get it now. Mm -hmm. I think we both get it now. Oh, definitely. And uh, there's some people I wanted to definitely make this for. Mm -hmm. And it's definitely worth making your own chips at home for sure. Um, I'm sure we didn't do it perfect <laughs> but we did the best we could with what we had and the knowledge that we exactly. had exactly and um you know we have no way to compare this to anything because mm -mm. we've never Just had pictures it. and yeah yeah but i think for what we had i think we did great um it tastes pretty doggone good so uh yeah it's a definite double heck yeah for me mm -hmm. uh if you guys enjoyed this episode please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel um we appreciate you and hope you had fun with this one and uh I'm gonna go in there and um We're gonna get back to eat some more eat some more chip buddies. Oh you're eating the ketchup one, okay. Well, she has the ketchup. I'll just be stealing this. I'm gonna make an HP um, one as soon as we're done here. I'll fight you over that. Mm -hmm. There's only Let's fight. May how are you gonna make an HP one if I have the HP <laughs> I'll sauce? I'll tackle you for it. <laughs> okay, if you see us in the next episode with me in a neck brace, you know <laughs> Debbie got her sandwich. I'm just kidding. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next episode. Until then, please love like jazz. And be as strong as Tyson. Bye. Don't forget to visit today's video sponsor, Incogni, in the description below this video and take back your data security today.